Hi there, I am Ranuka. I don't say that often, but I am. Somebody requested that I recreate Sophie Ellis Baxter's makeup look in the music video of Murder on the Dance Floor. And here I am. At first, when I was looking at the music video, I was like, uh, I don't like the look. And I'm not a huge fan of the song either. <laughs> I don't mean to be a hater, but I just didn't think that look would um, translate that well on me. By looking at it, I felt like it was a bit outdated almost. Um, anyway, again, not trying to be a hater, but I did my own twist, I guess, um, of that look. It's not identical, but I switched a few things here and there to make it more suitable for me <laughs> and my taste. And of course, I changed the lip color. That's who I am, I just cannot do a very heavy eye look with a red lip, it's just, I don't know, it's just not something that I like that much. So I went for a nude lip instead and I think the eyeshadow came a little bit more teal than her very green look. Here's my version of the look, I hope you like it. And if you did, maybe you want to watch a tutorial on it, which is coming right about now. <laughs> I primed my lids with the Shadow Insurance Eyeshadow Primer from Too Faced. And as you can see, I already did one of my eyes and um, I'm gonna show you how. I have two palettes that I'm gonna use today and uh, one of them is the Tribe by Juvia's Place. This is the one that I'm gonna start with. And I'm gonna use this beautiful olive shade in my crease. And I'm using an essential crease brush from Real Techniques. So I'm starting from my outer corner and I'm gently going into my crease with this shade. Moving my brush left to right across my crease. And then I'm gently extending the shade towards my temples. This look has a more rounded eyeshadow placement, I think. So I'm not going to extend it too much. From the same palette, I'm going to take a shading brush like that. This is from Morphe, but it's from a brush set, so it has no number. And uh, I'm going to pick up this... Um, dark matte green in the corner from the same tribe palette and that's going to be some sort of a base color i'm going to apply it all over my lid but again i'm starting from the other corner because that's what i do i like the darkest uh, the most intensity to be in my other corner so when i place down the pigment that's where i have the most eyeshadow um on my brush so the most of it is going to go on my other corner and then i'm going to Gently go inwards and apply this all over my lid. And then carefully going up with it. When I have less pigment on the brush, I'm trying to blend it into the transition shade that I used pre previously. I, I should do that kind of a video when I don't edit anything. That would come out a mess because I, I stutter a lot, so I remove a lot of... Uh, 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 and eyes and, and, and stuttering a lot. So, editing is very dreadful for me. <laughs> Going back to my previous brush to help blend this even more. I didn't pick up uh, any more of that transition, so it's just whatever is left on my brush. Okay, now for the shimmer slash glitter part, I'm gonna pick the Wahala 2 again by Juvia's Place. It has this beautiful glitter right here that is bluer than I expected. Well, then now that I look at it, it has shifts. So from some angles it looks blue and from some angles it looks green. And it has um, glitter particles in both shades, so both a green and blue. And uh, I'm gonna use my finger to apply it. You cannot really... I don't think you can pick this kind of a shade up with a brush. Ideally, I think I would have used a glitter primer as well, but this is some sort of a pressed glitter. But it works without a glitter primer too. I'm using this palette a lot lately and I think it's discontinued. And I think it's, it has been discontinued for a while now. <laughs> okay, now, since this is pretty blue, what I did is I picked this shade from the Tribe palette and applied it on top of it, so it's gonna, 
The glitter is gonna stay there. It's just gonna slightly change the tone of the shade, which is what I'm looking for. And, and, and. What I also wanna do is pick up that matte green again to kind of diffuse, I guess, um, the outer corner. So I'm gonna apply just a bit of that green again on the outer corner of my eye. Slightly blending it upwards. I don't want the, the edge, the border, I guess, of this glitter to be as harsh as it is right now. So with this matte shade, I'm trying to fade it a bit. And then I'm gonna blend this some more. And since I cannot do any look without adding a bit of pencil at the base of my lashes, I'm gonna take my Maybelline Tattoo Eyeliner Pencil Gel Pencil in the shade Deep Onyx. And so, so it's the black one basically. And I'm gonna line underneath my lashes first. And then I'm also gonna apply some close to my lash line. Again, starting from the outer corner and then just applying a thin layer all over my uh, lash line. And I'm gonna diffuse it a bit with a flat brush. Again, going left and right to slightly diffuse this pencil so it's not that uh, harsh. I think that's it for now. I'm gonna clean up all this glitter on my face and then be right back. I cleaned most of the glitter on my face. I also applied mascara on my top lashes and outer corner false eyelashes, which are just eyelashes, false eyelashes that I cut in half and I just applied the outer half of the band I, um, I really like doing that. Moving on to my face makeup, I am gonna apply the Maybelline Superstay 24-hour skin tint with vitamin C and it's in the shade 05.5. I am gonna shake it a bit first because it has a pretty liquid texture. That might be enough. I don't know. I'm gonna do some initial spreading with my finger just to make sure that the sponge won't absorb all of the product. And to blend it in, I'm gonna use a sponge. It's my favorite way to blend in foundations, even though I sometimes go for brushes as well. But I do prefer the finish of a sponge. This is from Real Techniques. The Miracle Complexion, I think it's called, sponge. I think they only have one, so it's their sponge. <laughs> I think the sponge melts the foundation a bit better into the skin than a brush does. It's almost like when I use a brush to blend my foundation, it comes up a bit drier. Maybe it's the moisture from the sponge that helps with the finish. I feel like with the sponge it looks so much more natural. Then moving on to concealer, I didn't take my foundation up to my under eyes, so I kind of stuff around here. And so I only have one layer on my under eyes and not foundation and concealer. I'm just gonna apply concealer, which is from L'Oreal. It's the infallible 24 hour morning concealer and I'm using, using, yeah, I'm using the shade Cashmere. That's what I was talking about, um, stuttering. But I won't edit that out. You will just know that I'm silly and awkward and clumsy in a lot of situations. So that's fine. I used a bit on this pimple as well. I'm not good at covering pimples, by the way. But I'm trying. I think I applied a bit too much of this. The con this concealer is very high coverage. So, uh, usually I apply very little product. As contour, I'm gonna go again for the Wonder Stick from NYX. Cosmetics and it's in the shade light medium. I already finished this side because I was Excited I guess I prefer to film for Instagram to be honest even though I do enjoy like talking and explaining what I'm doing But when I film this side of my face for Instagram, I listen to music and it's just boosting my creative process I don't know what to do. Maybe I can insert a headphone in my ear when I'm filming for YouTube even though that might distract me but I don't know Anyway, I'm gonna contour just a tiny bit around here and here 
and I already applied um, a little bit of contour underneath my nose so I'm not gonna apply more and then I'm gonna blend it out with the Real Techniques setting brush I'm just doing tiny circular motions and I'm trying to blend it upwards and the jawline contour I'm gonna blend it downwards towards my neck and then I'm also gonna apply a bit of the highlighter side of this Wonder Stick by NYX even though it's a bit dark, like I can see it too, don't worry, but I feel like once I blend it out, it doesn't look that obvious. Also, especially because I use it uh, underneath a blush, it has a bit of a blush color for me because it's kind of red and dark. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't mind it once it's blended. Anyway, moving on. As blush, I'm gonna use this Makeup Forever lipstick. It's the Artist Rouge in the shade Glowing Ginger. I really enjoy this lipstick as blush. I think it has a lovely shade and I think it blends easily. I believe people used to use lipstick as blush a lot when there were no blushes. Now there are blushes and I still use lipstick as blush. Vintage. By the way, this is a Juvia Slay Tapered Blending Brush. I love this one for cream blushes. I think it blends out cream blushes just perfectly. Last step for my face makeup will be setting. I'm only gonna set the underneath of my eyes so, con so the concealer won't crease. But first, uh, I will make sure to blend in the creases because concealer already creased since I uh, left it there for a while without powder on top. This is not a sign that a concealer is good or bad. I, any concealer creases without powder, it's just facts. If you have lines underneath the eyes, it's gonna crease. There is no concealer that won't. That's uh, the harsh truth. I'm gonna take a bit of powder. This is the Revolution Baking Powder. It's in the shade Lace. And I'm gonna take it on an eyeshadow blending brush. And I'm gonna stamp it underneath my eyes well as far as concealer goes now that I think about it I, I think at some point if you use a very light coverage concealer you can get away with not setting at least in my experience when I was using the Touche Cla by YSL that one has really light coverage and uh, I usually did not set it and it was fine because it, it was just to just like even out a bit. It's, it was not covering um, too much. That's all the setting that I'm gonna do and now I will finish up the eyes. I have to finish my lower lash line even though I'm not gonna do much. I'm just gonna pick up the pencil again, the black pencil from Maybelline and I'm gonna, well wait, I almost forgot something. I wanna highlight my inner corner. So I'm gonna go back to the Tribe palette and on a like the, a little detail brush, this is a precision shader from Makeup Addiction. I'm gonna pick up this light shimmer here and I'm gonna just pop it right here in the inner corner of my eye for a little bit of shine. As if I don't have enough. I think highlighter in the inner corner looks very pretty. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, I'm gonna back, I'm gonna go back to the pencil. And I'm gonna apply a bit of that right in the tear duct, so in the inner corner, like inside my eye, kind of. I like defining this area, I think it looks very flattering. And I'm gonna go a bit on my waterline as well, but for some reason I want to leave the center of my wa waterline uh, empty. So I'm just gonna line the outer part of my waterline as well as the inner part, and that's it. And in my experience, whenever I set the pencil with eyeshadow, it lasts so much better. It doesn't have that bleeding effect after a few hours. So I'm gonna do that. Usually I would use a black, of course, because I used a black pencil. I would set it with a black eyeshadow, but I don't have one in front of me and I'm lazy. So I'm gonna pick up this same dark green on the same flat brush that I used previously. And I'm gonna slightly just go over the pencil to make sure that it's set and... That's it. It's gonna increase the wear time. Lovely. And I'm gonna finish off the eyes with mascara on my lower lashes. This is the Falsies Surreal by Maybelline. 
and not a single chance in this world that you will see me wearing a nude lip with such a heavy green eyeshadow unless it's Christmas and it's not so I'm gonna go for a nude lip I'm gonna line my lips with the NYX lip pencil in the shade Nude Beige this is a very light, I guess, nude it kind of resembles my lip color only cooler in tone like leans a bit grayish almost I'm gonna fill in the corners as well as I'm just gonna apply a gloss on top of this so this is gonna be the main color if you can call it that <laughs> and I'm gonna finish with the lifter gloss from Maybelline it's in the shade pearl it smells heavenly and it's such a such a pretty product and that's it this is my version of Sophie's look in murder on the dance floors music video I hope you enjoy my version of it I didn't do much changes I think it's a bit more teal than hers I don't it's just because I don't have such a green glitter and I switched the lower lash line a bit I just added my own twist on it I guess it's not a huge difference although I feel like the lip color makes a huge difference for me I do enjoy this version of a lip so much more with such a heavy eyeshadow like this anyway thank you so so much for watching I hope it was useful or inspiring or both of course <laughs> I'm gonna head out I wish you an extraordinary day and I'll see you next time bye